Now, in a coin six follow-up today would have been Brittany Menard's 30th birthday, but Brittany used Oregon's Death with Dignity Act to end her life. And tonight, her supporters held a candlelight service at the same Portland church where the act was drafted some 20 years ago. Jennifer Hoff was there. If not people, then music filled Portland's first Unitarian church. The small number of Brittany Menard supporters hoped to make a big impact on America's death with dignity laws. In her name, we will press, we do press other states to offer the same compassionate choices to their residents. Twelve states have vowed to introduce legislation to make aid in dying legal after Brittany's decision went viral this year because her brain cancer was inoperable. And even if you are uncertain, even if your voice is shaking, Ask the questions you want to ask. Speak up for yourself. Advocate. At Wednesday's service, the congregation's candles not only honored Brittany, but fittingly celebrated what would have been her 30th birthday. Brittany's decision and the way she and her family carried that decision out were blessings. The hour long ceremony turned into an in depth discussion that hit home for mental health professional Tikva. I was struck that she had to move to Oregon from California and greatly saddened that it took that type of journey for her to be able to let go in a peaceful, gentle way. Tikva counseled people with HIV in the early 90s before Oregon passed its death with dignity law and often saw patients alone and in pain. I saw the fear, the suffering, and the pure panic of people trying to hide. We shall overcome. Tikva and the others here pledged to keep pushing for more people to die on their own terms and help not just in Brittany Menard's fight during life, but now in death. And the speakers at that vigil tonight encourage you to call your local politicians to enact change. Voters approved Oregon's Death with Dignity Act in 1997, and currently only four other states have something similar, Jeff.